Hello everyone, I'm Pastor Philip Johnson. I head up the patient coordinator department for Dr. Rick Spinagle here in Palm Harbor at Spinagle Wellness. And we're glad that you're watching this video today. And uh, we have a guest with us today, starting our treatment here, brand new. Tell us your first name. Mariah. Mariah, where are you from? I'm from Canada. From Canada. Mm -hmm. So we love the Canadians that come to visit with us. We have, always have Canadians here in our facility mm -hmm. and uh, seeking treatment for whether it's Lyme or um, other toxins that are interfering with their health. And so glad to have you here. You'll get to meet some of those here today and in the next uh, few days that you're with us. These stories are very impacting in our life. They're, uh, they give us hope. They give us encouragement. And um, today what we're doing is this is your very first day you showed up, haven't begun treatment yet or anything like that. And we want to discuss your, your illness, what brought you here, mm -hmm. and how this has been affecting your life. So. How long have you been ill? Um, I've been sick for about eight years. Okay. Slowly getting worse and worse each year. So I started when I was in grade 10 with like symptoms like tired and weak and the brain fog and okay. um, a lot of neurological issues. And then it just kept getting worse when I went into university. I couldn't focus in school, very tired and sick and like feverish all the time. Um, and then my worst was this year. I went to Ecuador to teach and build, mm -hmm. and um, I got some intestinal parasites. Okay. Um, so then when I got back, I was the most sick I'd Ugh. ever been. So I, like, was not functioning. Like before, I kind of got used to functioning when I was sick. Okay. You just get used to it and you yeah. kind of adapt. Um, but then it was the point where I think it was like the straw that broke the camel's back, right. where I really couldn't function anymore. So that's when. My goodness. Yeah. But well, you've already. Um, you know, how old are you now? 23. 23. So you've sickness for quite a few years, already impacted your life in, yeah. a, in a big way, and yet you've tried to press through it, going to university, yeah. going to, uh, we say, Ecuador. Yeah, All been right. to Africa twice. I go teach. I love to travel and teach. So. All right. Yeah. That's what I went to school for. I went to school to be a teacher. Okay. So I just graduated this June. And I am on the supply list, but obviously I'm unable to teach right now. <laughs> well, we just got to get you back. Yeah. We just got to get you taken care of and get you back there teaching. That's a wonderful thing. Yeah. Why are you in a wheelchair? Um, this has been recent because I seem to get weaker and weaker, and I was trying to struggle to get through without needing a wheelchair. Okay. But the longer I stand and walk, the sicker I feel. And I find my legs get like really shaky and jello-y, okay. and I just feels like I put my back out or like all my muscles and joints hurt. So this just helps. So it's a pain issue. Yeah. Um, you literally start getting sick if you stand. Yeah. Okay. Like I notice a difference if even I'm trying to hobble around the house the next morning I can't even get out of bed. Whereas if I'm in my chair then I'm like a normal sick level. <laughs> Did you ever look at yourself as using phrases like hobble around the house? No. Like, no. You know? I used to work <laughs> out and play soccer, like loved hiking, anything yeah. active. So this is really uh, strange for me. <laughs> oh man, I, I know. And, and when you're talking about getting sick, is it like nausea becomes, you start oh. getting nauseated or lightheaded? Yeah, my symptom list is like, but on oh, a day-to-day, -day, I got them all like dizzy. <laughs> like I feel like this room is spinning right now. I'm just dizzy. I'm not, I've got a fever right now. <laughs> so usually I get fevers every day. I'm nauseous. I like just try and get food down. You're going to be a great patient. You're feeling all that right now. <laughs> yeah. Still smiling I'm like laughing. burning up right now, but then I'm cold. I'm, a mess. I'm cold go. at the same time. <laughs> Oh, so yeah, this is my day to day. So I don't know how I managed to graduate and uh, function, but oh well, bless your heart. Well, you just traveled from Canada, so you've probably been exhausted just for the traveling. Oh, yeah, it's a big, big weekend for you. Yeah. Okay. Well, we have great expectations here, and and um, your test results will be coming in, and yeah. you'll have your consult with Dr. Spinagle, yeah. and and uh, very forensic in nature, trying to discover. Again, it's for us and for those that are watching this, it's it's not just, well, you have Lyme, let's try to kill mm -hmm. the Lyme. It's about what else is compromised? What's Why are you getting sick when you stand up yeah. and, and these pain issues? And and, my brain. Why doesn't it work? Why doesn't your brain <laughs> work? And, and we're going to uh, move into those areas. That brain is a great thing, but, you know, yeah. it's, it's, it's such a fatty, it's like the fattiest organ in our body, 60% yeah. fat. And those toxins, when they enter the body, which are fatty toxins, they look for a place to land, and mm -hmm. the brain becomes one of those places for us. So, I need that to teach. <laughs> you need that to teach. <laughs> All right, well, this will be a wonderful, and we're glad that you took the time to share um, these symptoms with us, mm -hmm. and hopefully we can do some uh, progressive video as we go along and see 
how you're doing. Mm -hmm. Let's go through just real quick though before we shut this off yeah. and say if you had to name your top five or six symptoms, complaints on a day-to-day -day basis. What I don't like be? to complain, but I'll complain. All right, all right. Complain right now. <laughs> um, I would say the weakness, the tiredness, okay. the dizziness, the brain fog, nauseous, just feeling like you have the flu. Okay. Yeah. Now, do you keep this fever often? Every day. Every day. I expect it every day. <laughs> every day. Every day. I wait for oh. it to come. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm Nick D'Angelo, patient coordinator at Spinago Wellness, and we have a very special guest with us today. Um, Mariah, tell us a, a little bit about what brought you here. I understand you've been away for about, about six months. You yeah. treated here for some time, arrived here in a wheelchair, came out of it um, at the, at, towards the end of, of that treatment. Um, tell us about what brought you back. Um, you spent about six months away. What, what brought you here today? Yeah, so this time I wanted to come back and focus on really my brain and my nerves and do some more cleanup with that because we didn't get a chance to do that um, last time and there had been a lot of changes in his practice. So I wanted to come back and mainly focus on that and clear up my brain a little bit. And your issues are obviously, they were mainly cognitive and so the brain fog, the, mm -hmm. the short-term memory loss, which is of particular importance because contemporaneous with, with your departure from here, Dr. Spinagle began to make really incredible strides yeah. in advancing his treatment. Um, and so we are now clearing toxins in ways that we couldn't do back then. We are now forcing toxins, attaching them from the myelin, being able to affect the brain chemistry in new ways that, that we couldn't do before. And so you arrive here with kind of the, the, perfect, um, the perfect time for you yeah. because this is what you're, you're looking for. Yeah. So two weeks of treatment, um, what's the difference for you? Yeah, I was excited to come back and clear my brain because like, he had talked to me on the phone about what he had changed. And, you know, I've noticed a difference in my personality. I kind of feel more, I just feel like myself again, more of like that happy, outgoing person. All my creativity has come back. I used to love being creative and really artsy, and it was kind of like I was just stuck. I just had no real thoughts, and I just kind of seemed like a little bit blank. So now everyone just notices how my personality has come back and I'm more confident, I just feel like me, I'm happy, I'm the happiest I've ever been. So that's just incredible. How long has it been since since you were you, in your words? I don't even remember what me is. That's how long it's been. So it's it's really nice to be, to find myself again. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so to talk a little bit more about that. You came here, where were you at in the way of thoughts? Um, and you know, how are you thinking now by comparison? Uh, I was definitely very overloaded. I mean, even when I started, it was hard for me to just even like make a sandwich, like put together something simple as breakfast because I just couldn't think. And to make decisions was really hard because I was so anxious and I was just so fogged up. And even just a simple trip to the mall, I just didn't know what I wanted to do, what I was there for. I had to keep like a note, like, you're going here. And I would end up driving and I didn't know what I was supposed to be doing. So now I, you know, hope that my anxiety has subsided and... I can think clear, make decisions, just act normally for right. once. <laughs> that's, that's incredible. And yeah. certainly you, you have a degree of confidence now socially that you, you wouldn't have had. Yeah, definitely, for yeah. sure. Well, we, we also have your mother here with us. Yeah. And, and we did want to ask you, Mom, to tell us a little bit about you know where, where your daughter went when she was dealing with the chronic infections, the Lyme disease. She was dealing with the resulting toxins, specifically with... with with cognition and with, with the neurological issues. Where was she and, and where is she now in, in your observation? Well, when she came here, it was very difficult to see that it wasn't my Mariah. Sure. You know, where, where did she go? Her brightness, her confidence, her, um, her ability to be creative. Like she said, we do photography together. And, yeah. and it was difficult to um, for her to put things together, just to see her you know, going around the house, not being able, walking around, not being able to remember, you know, what she came here for, what, you know, what she wanted to do. It was very difficult. Mm -hmm. And to see the brightness back in her eyes, back in her face, um, her ability to do all these things again. We worked together, even just the two weeks that we've been here, we've been venturing out doing, she's telling me, okay, this is what we're doing today. We're going to go. I'm excited to do things. Yeah, we're going to go. I'm going to go do yoga on the beach. We're going to go. I want to take these types of photographs. I wanna, and it's like, oh, yay, okay, let's go. It's exciting it's to not, see that. I'm just sick. I want to go home. Exactly. It's, I want to explore. I want to. I was expecting, I you know, okay, we're going to go back to the hotel. We're going to, I'm going to let her relax. I'm going to let her. Because that's what we do at home. Yeah. I I'm, can go a little bit and then back home. Yeah, and now yeah. I'm like, let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go 
on an adventure. Let's go watch the, the dolphins. Let's go. So it's awesome. it's fun to see. So so Mariah, um, if if you encountered somebody and, and you of course you, you, as a Canadian patient, you guys are just this big incredible network of people, yeah. a community. Someone comes to you and they're dealing with these infections. They're dealing mm -hmm. with the resulting toxins and and the cognition's out the door. Brain fog, short term memory loss. They understand their brain's inflamed. They're experiencing neurological symptoms. Yeah. Um, what kind of statement or what, or what kind of endorsement can you make for Dr. Spinoglum and what, what he does? Yeah, I think it's important that you finally come and meet Dr. Spinoglum and it's the kind of doctor that you can let your guard down for once. Like we've all seen so many doctors and we're all trying to prove ourselves, prove how sick you are. It's like you're, you're trying to debate with them about that. You really have these issues, but when he came here, he knew what I had. He knew what my issues were. I didn't have to try and tell him how I was feeling. He knew from my testing how I was feeling. and. You know, I could just kind of sigh, like a big sigh of relief that he was going to take care of me and he knew the brain so well and nobody had made those connections, no one had connected those dots before like he had um, with my whole body. And he wasn't just looking at one symptom, you know, he was putting all the pieces together for me and that was incredible because no one's ever been able to do that, so. Incredible. Yeah. Well, th thank you guys for, um, for, for this. Just thank you guys for, for being such an incredible example. I mean, this is something that so many people are, are aiming to do, and it's, yeah. out, of, it's out of reach for, for many. We, we are just a singular entity in Florida, yeah. but we are seeing really incredible things, and yeah. it's, it's your testimony. It's, it's what we see in, in people mm -hmm. like you, families like you, that really makes this thing so worthwhile. So. And it's amazing coming back and seeing how much better I'm handling this time and how much better I'm doing. It's really given me a perspective of how far I've come, coming back and seeing the new patients come in, and I was like, I was there, but now I'm here, sure. which is incredible. I needed that, too. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Well, well, well th thank you for that. Um, yeah. We at Spinaga Wellness are just so happy to have you guys here, so excited for your, yeah. for your growth, and, and this is just um, an incredible, incredible thing. Thank you, Dr. Spinagle.